Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about getting user ID into your DB context and using query filters. Well, let me explain uh, what is the problem and how we can solve it. So I have a very simple ASP.NET Core application. I use the template to create this one. Uh, and it is using identity and the default identity you get in every template project and I also have a model here uh, which is just for demo and there's ID title and user ID so let's run the application and as you, you can see, we need to log in to use this system because uh, I have an authorized attribute on my index page. And I'm forcing users to authorize before using the application. And so let's register with uh, a sample user I'm using Tehran and very easy password to register and confirm it now i can get in if i log in so let's create a post and call it from iran and log in created and uh, I have the title of my post and this is the user ID so if uh, I change the user or somebody else is using this application and let's log out register again this time using London for example yeah, one two three sample password let's confirm it and let's log in and let's create another one from uk and submit now we have two users uh, and and they both posted uh, some data to our project and of course we need to filter uh, the index page based on user ID to make sure that each user get, visits or uh, gets uh, his or her own data of course we can fix this by going to our index page and use where clause and use something like this p if only p dot user id equals to current user id and i can get user id um, by searching in claims and uh, let's do this var user id equals a user find first value and let's go to claim types and get name identifier which is the user id and now i can use this user id to filter data based on each user so let's run the project again this time now each user sees his or her own data and if you go to the logs you can see that the where clause is working by the way i am logging uh, using this option in my db context which is log2 uh, i guess it's a new feature in ef core 5 and that you can very easily log into your console or any other uh, external service using this type and okay we have the problem solved 
uh, by the easiest way possible but uh, you need to keep using this pattern this where clause everywhere in your project if there is products posts comments payments everywhere for each user you have to use this where clause to filter data based on user and then you can go ahead and do your own thing depending on uh, what feature you're working on so if there was a way that we could move this where clause somewhere else uh, in a global way and solve this once and for all it would be great and that's what i'm going to talk about next so in entity framework uh, since the version 3.1 I guess there is a query filter and you can use that query filter to filter data globally and uh, let me show you how it works let's go to application db context and in here let's override the on model creating and here I am going to use builder and use entity of uh, post and use has mm, query filter and now I can filter data based on something at, at least uh, uh, some, something general and it can be user ID to equals to something like this and let's uh, see what is our user ID currently and let's paste it in here now we have a global filter and filtering data based on a specific user id it works everywhere in our project so when i have this query filter like this i don't need to use where here you can just save and let's run the project again so uh, it is exactly the same as before we are only seeing the data related to each user but uh, the where clause is now uh, being applied somewhere else inside our own model creating and i don't have to care about it anymore that I'm working on my project. The only problem is uh, the user ID is hard coded inside on model creating, and if I change the user, it won't work. Uh, like if I log out and log in using my other account. Now again, I'm seeing the data from the uh, UK, but uh, I am using a different account and query filters can be used for many different things but in this specific usage we need to have a user id somehow injected in our db context uh, so that we could use it in globally in everywhere in every project so i no don't need this line anymore let's forget about it and also let's go to our application db context and we need to have the user id in here um, and it should not be hard coded like this so let's remove this line so let's find a way to inject user id and get a grab of it inside this on model creating and to do so let's go here and let's add a new folder and inside here let's add a new class and call it get user claims and let's have a property or a method property is just fine I guess uh, let's call it uh, the type of it is a string and and let's um, name it user ID uh, so I need to set the user ID here 
uh, only once let's keep it for now I want to explain why uh, let's inject something called private read only i http context accessor and name it underline accessor like this and then inject it to the constructor of the service and now i can use accessor to access user id let's call it user id equals to accessor http context and user and find first value and uh, let's find claim types and name identifier okay i can uh, follow this path to find user id uh, if accessories exist and http context is exist and uh, we have a user then we can find a user a user's uh, user id uh, to just to be safe let's add question mark to take care about the va value being null case so what is i should be context accessor it is when you need to access the HTTP context data inside a service anywhere that is not a razor page or a controller if you need the data of HTTP context you can just inject HTTP context accessor and then you can have the HTTP context data and user in this case is coming from the claims claims are being stored in uh, cookies so you don't uh, round trip to database every time uh, this uh, line runs uh, the user id is inside the cookie it's in, then uh, it request uh, it comes into your http context and uh, you have it uh, already inside http context so and the only problem is you cannot set the user id inside the constructor because this service uh, can be in, in instantiated in different cases uh, but the http context does not have uh, the data in the constructor uh, it can be filled later when you are using the class and so if you need the user id like this uh, you have to do it inside a method or a property and not inside the constructor so let's return inside our get this line and we no longer need the set part and let's clean up it a bit and this is what we have at the end so now i have to inject this class and just to be solid compliant uh, let's add the interface and i'm using visual studio to do that extract interface and okay and now i have the interface for this so let's go ahead and inject this inside our startup um, I'm using services and add a scoped uh, I get user claims and get user claims like this now I can inject this I user claim inside my DB context let's do this I'm um, Injecting this like a private read only. I get user claims and let's name it underline claims. And let's add the namespace. Also, let's inject this into the constructor using Visual Studio again. And now we have the claims, and now I can use claims here. 
and use user id like this and that's it and now we have the user id based on different http context at the moment that the query filter is running so uh, when the user change uh, the claims sends back the different user id and, and inside my index page uh, the data gets filtered by user id uh, let's run the project again and make sure it works properly so now we have uh, the data from uh, the run user in here and before it was like this it was from uk for tehran but now it matches i can log out and log in again and use uh, london again so let's see how it works and again we are uh, seeing each user's data uh, filtered by its own user id and that's how uh, we can use uh, global query filters and user id together so the the technique i showed you in here takes care of all the user id that you need everywhere and it just makes a cleaner code and there's uh, one less thing to worry about when you are uh, working with data because it's all it, it's not uh, only a easier way it's a safer way to do this you might forget to filter data but you by user id in a large project and uh, something can go wrong but in this way uh, we have a simpler code easier code to use and uh, query filter takes care of everything in the uh, in the back end so um, that's it for today thank you for watching and see you in next videos